Catfish people, what's up? Hey, good morning to y'all. Hey, we've been having some blessed fishing trips. Coming to y'all here from the kitchen. Uh, got all my fish cleaned up. So I figured, you know what? Hey, let's make them a little video. Show you how I do mine. Uh, and I love tips and comments. So if you got a way you do your, you know, you clean your fish out and the way you bag yours up or process it, hey, I'd like to hear it. Shoot those back at me. We spread it around. Your way may be better suited for someone else. Um, so what I do is, is I take, after I skin all my catfish out and I get them all just filleted out, I take and put them in a uh, big old bowl here. <clears throat> Fill it full of cold water and salt. Let them soak overnight. So now today, I got them all out and then I put them in a strainer. Let that water, that old salt water, drain off of them real good. Get all that all cleaned off. And I take them old big fillets, some old big thick fillets. Hard to do anything with them. You can see the big old thick fillet. So what I do is I take them. I cut that thing up some chunks, like so. Flip it around. I try to get all of the mess anything blood veins anything off of now if it looks real thick hey we'll spread her on down now we got us what I like to call catfish nuggets I would just prefer to eat that than I would big old thick fillet <clears throat> to me it's uh, a lot easier manageable and it's a lot easier to cook, cooks quicker, tastes better, I think. You know, I just, store-bought catfish fillets are thinner. You know, they're, they're really thin, the fillets are. So you can see I'm pretty much downsizing it to like you would have bought store-bought catfish. Getting it in nice chunks. You can see the size of my hand. It's easy to put in the frying pan that way. If you go long fillets, what are you? It's just too much. It's just way too much. Take it, cut it down, get all the get all them blood veins out of there. Nice, good looking meat. Um, and I take and just <clears throat> continue continue on with that process till I get it all cleaned up and trimmed up and looking good. See, a little blood vein right in there. Get all that all out. No point in it being in there. You don't want to eat it. Nobody else does either. Get all that off there. Nice, good, clean piece of catfish now. Um, hey, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, family, friends, everybody that's been following me, keeping up with me. Hey, I got an amazing, I got an amazing family. I really do. And when I say family, I just don't mean my biological family. I mean, you know, my, I consider friends family. I consider people who comment back and come, you know, comment back with me. You know, meet me at these fishing spots. People that's recognizing me, you know, saying, hey, Mike, you know, hey, that's my family. You know, that's, that's why I do this. I just enjoy it. But, you know, I love bringing y'all these videos. And like I said... It was a hard time for me to find places to go fish and tips and things like that. So Google earthed it. I put it in the work for y'all, trying to get y'all to these spots, put y'all on some fish, help y'all with some things. Hopefully y'all give me some comments, feedback back, and y'all can help me with some spots. Shoot me some places to go. I'll go try them out. We'll get this going. Till then, happy fishing. God bless. Keep your minds tight.